Kim Kardashian fled after the federal authorities learned of her participation in Diddy's infamous undertakings now. Isn't it strange that she unfollowed Diddy on social media the day before his houses in Miami and Los Angeles were raided, and that she's been going underground to get rid of? Evidence discovered throughout the investigations against her as such a hard denit in an effort to break ties with Diddy. Prior to his fall from grace, when Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy on Instagram, many of her followers took notice, and many began to wonder why she didn't want to be affiliated with. Diddy in the year 2010. The California Community Church, which Kris Jenner founded, is well known for the Kardashians' opulent lifestyle and wealth. Wealthy individuals also give to each other's. The Kardashian family donates 10% of their yearly revenue to the churches, foundations, and galas to avoid paying taxes, which ultimately benefit the Kardashian family rather than the cause. California Community Church of Kris Jenner, which was exposed in a tax scandal that Radar Online reported on April 23, 2012, is being referred to as a complete hoax. Change Community Church was struck with a notice for $1,600.19.3 in delinquent taxes throughout the time frame of October 1, 2010 to June 30, 2011. The hit came a few days later. Churches are being sued by Le for $2,293.74, dollars which includes $2,282 in unpaid taxes, interest, and penalty fees. The lawsuit was filed on September 30, 2011 ideal for this criminal family since they are not required to pay federal, state, or municipal taxes, and their financial records are sealed. Kim Kardashian and company have been gathering a ton of that. Here's where things get interesting tax-free cash has been around for years. Lou Taylor Co. owns the church. One of Hollywood's most notorious managers is American businesswoman Lou Taylor, who has collaborated with well-known artists, is the proprietor of Traystar Sports and Entertainment. Interestingly, the address of Treestar Entertainment's headquarters is owned by. Listed under Diddy's name alone, the reason Lou's reputation is so negative is because she was involved in Britney Spears' conservatorship during that period. Around the same time that a comparable amount of money appeared on Kim's net worth, $600 million of her money vanished, but it was also noted that the money was skimmed from her shapewear brand. Because Britney had no control when her sister Kylie Jenner was under conservatorship, her sister's recent sale of half of her makeup firm for a very similar price was never looked into. Above her possessions, Lou Taylor was the one with complete control over everything that Britney possessed. Mr. Spears and Tristar received more than $6 million and $18 million, respectively, from me. A third party investigator's conclusions were cited in fresh documents filed with the Los Angeles County Superior Court on Friday, according to the estate during the conservatorship. Attorney Matt Rosengard of Billings, Montana, criticized the fan for their association with Lou Taylor. As a former federal prosecutor, he refrains from naming or accusing anybody without cause. Explanation of the account, if you're following the conspiracy theory, the funds might have flowed from Britney's trust to Stonebridge, Panama, and then back to the United States via Kim's trust and Kylie. Following Kanye's billionaire status, there are rumors that Jenner collaborated with Kim Kardashian and Diddy to even put Kanye in a position of power. Jenner's account then requested that the I launch an inquiry. They tried to treat me because I was tired and they misdiagnosed me, and when I questioned them how much lithium did they say, they said that they were under a conservation ship to take his money also. You want to know the specifics? And I'm not taking this right, so it took them four days to respond because they were ashamed of the number. You are aware that if I had seized the bah medicine, I wouldn't be here, and he would have been in great distress. We miss him and adore his music, but Britney spearheaded the situation, which caused significant tension between Kim and her partner. Kanye and resulted in a divorce thereafter, according to TMZ, Diddy tried to talk to Kanye at Rolling Loud, but she ignored him entirely. Diddy seems to be backing Kanye even. Bringing his children to the performance, it may be because Diddy wants to beg for his silence and that Kanye is aware of his true nature and the dirt he has on him. Sources with inside knowledge told TMZ Diddy was. A few weeks ago, as he was hanging out backstage at Rolling Loud in Los Angeles, he and his entourage had arrived to see UI's performance. He told those close to Y that he wanted to speak with Y face to face. 
What's up personally, but when it was brought to Kanye's attention, we were informed that he was not eager to meet up, or at the absolute least, that he had no interest in the suggested meeting. Rumors also circulate that Kim Kardashian owns properties under Lou Taylor's name, and recently obtained divorce papers between Kim and Kanye disclosed that Lou Taylor still resides in. Authority over Kim's trust fund celebrities frequently transfer their possessions to another location after divorcing in order to maintain complete ownership, and Lou Taylor is no exception. She is more of a more so than a manager or handler, and the celebrities clearly perceive it as inappropriate. This is just the beginning, as this is also a church connected to. Lil Rod Robin Green Hill of TriStar Sports and Entertainment sued Diddy for hush money and money laundering. The court's recent ruling in the case is the The exact business that Lou Taylor owns, let's be clear, Robin would send money to prostitutes on behalf of her client Diddy. At the same church where Lou Taylor is the pastor, Kim Kardashian handles her finances. It does not appear good for the Kardashian crew at all that Kim Kardashian is co-owner of this rumor's habit that she studied law because she knew this was going to happen eventually. When she does, she is capable of defending herself and avoiding learning the important information about you. Yes, it's a good thing that Kim Kardashian West wants to practice law. I have to say that a lot of this is because of you, CU. You brought me in contact with Jessica and Aaron, the solicitors I have been working with every week for 18 hours a week studying. The whole Kardashian family has been pictured with Diddy throughout the years, and she has been to numerous of his parties, which are notorious for their illicit and unsettling activities. Given Kris Jenner's background and the Kardashian family's rise to prominence, it is not shocking in the slightest if it turns out that she sent her daughters to Diddy for his activities. In reality indicating that they are close, Chris is frequently spotted with Diddy on social media. The Mirror claims that when the Paragod showed up on her talk show of the same name, he became quite seductive and sultry. Back in August, he shocked the 58-year-old by revealing to her that he had seen pictures of her in a bikini when she was younger, and that he had even briefly taken a fancy to her. The Kardashians are not done yet. Chris shares ownership of 138 Water, a water brand that seems to advertise itself by featuring incredibly attractive ladies who just hold the bottle and look to. Encourage women over water according to the charges. This water corporation is actually a trafficking organization that exploits its name to promote ladies who succeeded to get into high schools and yacht clubs. Never be surprised that all of the Kardashian Jenners have been accused of becoming yacht girls to obtain huge breaks in a variety of sectors by having sex on millionaire boats and being flown out to Dubai. Doesn't help that Kim Kardashian is also a brand ambassador for Balenciaga, a fashion brand that made headlines when it was revealed that photos from their campaign implied child abuse and bondage. Kim Kardashian does not appear good in children's clothing, especially in light of the claims that Diddy was linked with minors. According to Fox News, it's not shocking in the slightest that Kim, as one person on X, formerly Twitter, said, Kardashian doesn't care about Balenciaga's recent history, including its vulgar approach to children, because cashing in is her goal Kim will actually. Anything to get a check one person remarked, Miss Ambassador is attempting to erase from everyone's memory that this company improperly used children in their fashion campaigns Kim Kardashian is terrified and on the verge of, when the federal authorities conduct raids such as these, they typically have a clear idea of what they are searching for and where to find it because the search warrant is quite detailed. Is not just a fishing expedition, rather. They want proof that they know the specific location of it because they already have a strong case. This is because there have been three raids at Diddy's. Wellings. These are not petty incursions on nominal fees anyone who was associated with Diddy will eventually be apprehended and brought to justice as this is a comprehensive inquiry. Every rich celebrity who believed they were unbeatable can see their demise approaching. It should scare Diddy and everyone associated with his shady company, because whoever, someone close to Diddy is providing all of this information to him. And this individual isn't hesitant to identify each and every person involved in Diddy's shady business.